If you're into collecting sports cards for any length of time, inevitably you've made some mistakes in what you've bought or sold. Mine started early, in 1980, when instead of buying a 56 Mantle for $15 out of this ad, I bought this Baseball Immortal set from Renato Galasso, which also contained a Mantle. I thought I'd gotten smarter over the last 40 years, but no, the pandemic has exposed that my instincts about cards are still far from perfect. This is the worst buy from that period. When Jordan cards got hot in the spring of 2021, I jumped into the FOMO and paid almost $800 for this card, which is noticeably off-centered. Today, it's worth about $300. Here's the one I didn't buy. My local card shop took this in in the summer of 2019 as part of a collection, and I think I could have gotten it for about $800 or less. I passed. I just didn't have the extra funds. Today, a PSA 4 sells for about $1,400, and a five is almost $3,000. When I was doing videos on the trim cards that PSA had certified with number grades, I sincerely thought that cards that look short in their holders were going to get branded with a Scarlet A and really go down in value. I took a look through my collection and decided to sell off the cards that I thought could possibly be trimmed. I didn't know if they were trimmed. Now I realize they could have been vending cards, which would naturally be cut short by tops, like my Superstars card. But back in 2019, I thought the hobby as a collective would punish people owning short cards. I didn't want to be left holding the bag, so I sold them. In retrospect, it was a mistake to think that enough collectors would really want to hold PSA accountable when they had so much financial interest in what was going on. Since then, these cards have really gone up in value exponentially, and I can't afford to buy them today. This Munson I sold in late 2019 because I just figured it was time. I had the card for a while, and I didn't see it really going up in value much. I really misread the market. The card has doubled in value since I sold it. But the guy I sold it to did even worse. He sold it for a $100 loss right when the pandemic hit. I sold this 62 Aaron because when I got it, I noticed some damage at the top edge of the card. I should have just returned it. I held it for a while and then sold it at a loss in 2020. Since Hank Aaron's death, similar cards are selling for over $800 today. These last two cards are the ones I regret selling the most. The banks I bought at the same local card shop where I was offered the 54 Bowman Mantle. The page I got for what seems like a laughable sum of $350 in December 2018. I sold both of them to a doctor because I needed money to buy a new truck. My rationale on the bank's card was that he'd been dead for years and the card was unlikely to go up in value much more. While I made good money when I sold both cards, clearly I underestimated the market. Nothing I own today is worth more than either of these two. I guess my lesson in all of this is to not sell high-grade Hall of Fame cards. They always go up in value over time. What are some of your worst mistakes in the hobby? Drop a comment below and thanks for watching.